So when we graph a quadratic, it's going to graph a parabola. And that parabola can open in four different directions, up, right, left, down. Um, and really there's a nice quick shortcut for telling uh, which direction is that parabola going to open uh, without even solving the quadratic, without even graphing it. And it's, uh, it's pretty quick. So let's do one, let's do one the hard way first. I have a quadratic here. Um, and of course we could graph this using the vertex formula and the quadratic formula. So let's kind of do this the hard way first. Uh, what I want to do with this quadratic is first get this into standard form. I want to set this equal to zero. So let me bring down the one half x squared. I can add this two x plus two x to the other side. I can subtract this six to the other side and that would set this equal to zero or we could say this is equal to y if we're not looking for the zeros. And let's start off by just kind of using the vertex formula which is negative b over 2a. All right here b is going to be this positive 2 um, and a would be this 1 half. So I'm doing negative 2 over 2 times 1 half. So some things are going to cancel here, right? Um, 2 times 1 half is just 1. So I'm looking at negative 2 over 1. And when I divide that, I just get negative 2. So pretty straightforward here. The x-coordinate for the vertex formula, uh, that would be a negative 2. And then I just need to plug that back in uh, to the original formula. Really, either one I could plug it into. And that will give me the y-coordinate. So I'm going to do 1 half times negative 2 squared plus 2 times negative 2 minus 6. And that's going to give me the y coordinate here. So let's go ahead and just use PEMDAS on this. I'm going to bring down the 1 half. Negative 2 squared is a positive 4. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. Bring down that negative 6. And let's just kind of do one last step here. So 1 half of 4 is 2. And then I'm going to subtract this 4 and the 6. So really I'm doing 2 minus 10, which is negative 8. All right. So the vertex here, the x-coordinate would be negative 2. And the y-coordinate would be negative 8. And it looks like that's going to be a little bit off the graph here. So here's negative 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This can be way off the graph, way kind of down here. All right. So that's it actually should be further down. I'm just out of room here. So sorry about that. Um, to get the roots, or sometimes we call these the zeros, we're just going to use the quadratic formula, which I'll do in red. So the quadratic is going to be negative b, so negative 2 plus or minus the square root of b squared, so I'm doing 2 squared, minus 4ac, so 4a is 1 half, c is negative 6, and this is all over 2a, so 2 times 1 half. And then again, we're really just going to simplify this using PEMDAS. So let's start by bringing down all these things that we're not changing, negative 2 plus or minus, the radical. Uh, here we're going to use PEMDAS, so 2 squared is 4. Uh, and then I'm subtracting 4 times 1 half is 2, uh, times a negative 6 would be a negative 12. And on the bottom, 2 times 1 half, 2's uh, really just cancel, and you get 1, which is also going to cancel, so really I don't even have to write the 1. Let's use PEMDAS one more time. So negative 2 plus or minus. Uh, here I've got a double negative, which is a plus. 4 plus 12 is 16. And really this is all over 1, but I don't have to write that. And the square root of 16, that's going to give me 4. So I'm doing negative 2 plus or minus 4 to get my two zeros, my two roots. And let me do these in, I'll do these in purple. All right, so for my first root, I'm going to do negative 2 plus 4. That's going to give me a positive 2. Um, and this one I'll do in green. So the other root, this is negative 2 minus 4. It's going to give me negative 6. All right, and I just want to plot all these on the graph. So the, the, the negative 6 here, 
One, two, three, four, five, six. A little bit off the graph again. And the other root was a positive two, so I can just mark that right there. So now this is enough information to kind of accurately sketch our parabola. I know where the roots are. I know where the vertex is. And these are kind of all the important parts uh, where things are changing. So I'm just doing my best here. All right, so that kind of a rough shape of the parabola, uh, as long as we have all these important points on the zeros, the roots, and the vertex, this is what our parabola would look like. So what I want to show you in this video is there's kind of a shortcut here just by looking at what's called the discriminant. We kind of have a shortcut um, to where we can tell uh, what's the direction that this parabola is going to open, what are the roots, and what's the pattern here. So here's the problem. Uh, this is set up inside the quadratic formula already. And sort of what we're going to do here is work backwards. We can figure out what's the discriminant. We can also figure out what's the equation um, just by looking at these numbers. So the discriminant is just what's under the, the square root, what's inside of this radical. We call that a discriminant. So really all I have to do is just PEMDAS what's inside of here. So uh, negative 2 squared is a positive 4 minus uh, 4 times 1 times negative 4. So this is going to be a negative 16. Uh, remember, a, a double negative is a plus, so I'm going to end up with radical 20. Uh, and this number is positive. It's a positive 20. It could also be uh, 0 or it could be negative or the other two options. But this one's positive. What's the equation? So we can sort of figure out what the equation was. We can see that b was negative 2, right? a was 1, and c was negative 4. So these are sort of our coefficients for the equation. Uh, so I can say my equation was y equals um, really 1x squared, or you could say invisible 1x squared minus 2x minus 4. So I just got those numbers from the problem here. I know that this is 2a on the bottom, so the a was 1, the b was negative 2, the c was negative 4. So you could, you could also write it like this. You don't have to write the 1. I could also say just x squared minus 2x minus 4, really the same thing. All right, and if we solved this, this problem, uh, the graph would look like this. We would have zeros or roots. We would have them right here on the graph. So what's the number of roots? Uh, looks like we have one, two, two roots. So just something to notice there. So let's talk about um, the direction that this parabola is opening. This one's opening up, but we also have some other options. So sometimes a parabola can open sideways. If y is the squared variable instead of the x squared, it could open left or right. Uh, a positive variable is going to make the parabola open in a positive direction. Um, so like if the x is squared, it's going to open up, or if the y is squared, it would open sideways and to the right. And the opposite is also true. So if the, the variable is negative, it's going to make it open in that negative direction. Um, so on the graph, the negative direction is down on the y-axis, or on the x-axis, it would be to the left. So that's why I have these examples here. Now, of course, you could go through the effort. You could use the vertex formula the quadratic formula, you could graph these, uh, you can tell which direction they're going to open. But this shortcut's very nice because I can just look at the equation and I can tell right away what direction that's going to open. So on the first one here, the y is the squared variable. So I know it's either going to be right or it's going to be left just because that's the squared variable. It's also a positive y squared. There's no negative sign in here. So it's going to open in the positive direction to the right. Let's look at the, the next one here. So now the x is the squared variable, so I know it's either up or down. I think I forgot a space in there. Up, down. Uh, it's either going to be up or down. And then there's also a negative in front of this x squared, so I don't even really need to distribute that. I don't need to foil this out or use the quadratic or anything. I can tell this is going to open in the down direction because it's a negative x squared. And same thing with the next problem. So this is uh, sort of the same thing. Now the y is the squared variable. It's going to be a negative. 
I, I don't have to foil this. I don't have to distribute anything because I can already tell, uh, just going with our shortcut here, this is going to open sideways and it's going to open in that negative direction to the left. So here's another little example. Um, here I've graphed a parabola and I'm just trying to look if I can work backwards here. I see that this is opening to the left. It's opening sideways. So right away I can already tell uh, that it's going to be the y is the squared variable. It's going to be a y squared. So it can't be uh, it can't be this one where x is the squared variable. Um, and it's also opening in this negative direction to all these negative numbers. So I know that the variable needs to be uh, negative, not a positive like it is here. So it must be it must be this choice here, x equals negative y squared plus 4y minus 5. Now, of course, we could um, use the quadratic formula on all three of these. We could graph all of them, see which direction they open. Um, but this is just such a nice, quick shortcut. It's very easy to use. All right, guys, I hope that helps you.